when did these sightings begin? The evidence suggests that mankind has been visited since the dawn of time. Recently, researchers point to one undeniable event that sparked the largest wave of sightings in history, the detonation of the atomic bomb. Unknowingly, we had sent an invitation to the universe, establishing ourselves as an advanced civilization. The Air Force has officially analyzed the motives of possible visitors from space. Here is a direct quotation from the official report. Such a civilization might observe that on Earth we now have atomic bombs. We should therefore expect at this time, above all, to behold such visitation. As early as 1947, alien craft began responding to our open invitation by arriving in large numbers. If advanced civilizations wanted to monitor our nuclear technology, New Mexico was the place to be. Because of its remote location, New Mexico was the site of the military's atomic research and testing. Post-war missile tests were conducted at White Sands, and Roswell was home to the only atomic bomber squad in the world. To date, the biggest day in Roswell's history remains, July 2nd, 1947, when Mac Brazel, a rancher who lived just outside of Roswell, was startled that evening by a loud explosion outside. The following day, while checking on a remote water pump on his ranch, Mac made an astounding discovery. Spread over an area 100 yards wide and three quarters of a mile long was crash debris. Under top secret security, the debris was collected down to the smallest piece. The base commander had already ordered a press release announcing they had recovered a flying disc. As the news traveled around the world, the phones began to ring off the hook back at the base. The Air Force quickly realized the implications of their hasty press release and issued a cover story. In a press conference held the next day, a metallic reflector was displayed for the reporters as proof the incident was nothing more than a downed weather balloon. Recently declassified government top secret documents confirm the Roswell incident. The report states on July 7, 1947, a secret operation had begun to assure recovery of the wreckage of an alien craft for scientific study. The Roswell incident caught the military off guard. Faced with the fear of widespread public panic, the government began the largest covert operation in history. Their objective was twofold. First, research the alien visitors and their craft, and second, divert the public's attention away from the subject of UFOs. In response to the Roswell crash, then-President Harry Truman formed a special investigative team of 12 hand-picked scientists and military officers to manage the situation. Secretly known as Majestic 12, or MJ-12, the panel's directive was to research the UFO phenomenon and keep it out of the public eye. Recently, private lawsuits and the Freedom of Information Act allowed for the release of many top-secret documents from this era. These once top-secret papers also clearly describe multiple alien vehicle recovery operations and civilian sighting reports. Even seemingly insignificant alien encounters were documented in great detail and were treated as an issue of national security. At the end of MJ-12's preliminary investigation, General Nathan F. Twining issued a top-secret memo relating their findings. The memo stated that, quote, the phenomenon is something real and not visionary or fictitious. There are objects probably approximating the shape of a disk, of such appreciable size as to appear to be as large as man-made aircraft, yet circular or elliptical in shape, flat on the bottom and domed on the top, and making no associated sound. In his report, the general described the alien craft as capable of extreme maneuverability and very evasive when sighted or contacted by friendly aircraft. By the early 1950s, the public was fully aware of the growing UFO phenomenon. As the number of sightings increased, the government began more research. The alien crafts represented a technological advantage, and if the government was to maintain the national security, they had to control the situation. But the number of sightings made the job impossible. The public demanded an explanation. 